Welcome back. Uh, what we're going to discuss now is just a little bit of uh, shoulder mobility and the importance of internal rotation as well as external rotation with regards to shoulder mechanics and how the head of the humerus uh, works within the glenohumeral joint or the actual shoulder joint. Uh, so something we look at is total shoulder range. So if we look at external rotation at abductor position and then going into internal rotation. So what we want to see is that the external rotation is symmetrical with the internal rotation and whether you have that total shoulder range. Uh, if a client uh, perhaps comes with shoulder pain that potentially is non-traumatic, i.e. hasn't come on from a particular injury, one of the things we may look at is um, their range of motion and looking at the total range of motion, not just internal rotation or an internal rotation deficit or an external rotation or external rotation deficit, but looking at that total range between left and right. Um, simple exercise that potentially we would give to a client, depending again on the pathology and what we suspect is the problem. Um, and if they do have an internal rotation deficit, i.e. that position, or they perhaps have a deficit in terms of going into medial rotation and extension, uh, we may utilize what's called the sleeper stretch. This stretch is one that is a little bit painful. We tend to support the head foam roller or a pillow coming through and just rotating down. And where you'll feel this stretch is through the back of the shoulder and this is a posterior capsule stretch. We can again explore the shoulder by rotating either through or rotating back. We can elevate with a towel under here um, and that's a slightly modified stretch and then come through to there. We should be looking at symmetry, okay? So we should be looking at, can that shoulder move the same? Again, as this shoulder. And does my left shoulder move at the same sort of range? And it's fairly symmetrical. Again, very easy stretch. Uh, you look at doing this sort of 20 seconds, uh, you know, sort of four or five times, and you look to do it sort of consecutive nights over the period of sort of seven to 14 days, you should find that you get consistent improvements in that range of motion, um, and that will start to help um, if you do have an internal rotation deficit.